Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining Espresso Tutorials for today's virtual book club meeting. My name is Alice Adams and I'll be moderating our discussion today. And today we are talking about the SAP HANA Deployment Guide with author Bert von Steckelman. Hi Bert, thanks for joining us today. I'm very happy to be here. We're glad to have you here. Um, could you start off by telling us a little bit more about yourself? So, I've, my name is uh, Bert van Steckelman. I'm living in, uh, in Belgium. I've been doing SAP since 95. That's a very, very long time ago. And I've always been doing SAP from a technical perspective, meaning doing SAP upgrades, doing SAP installations, performance and tuning, etc., etc. I always, I've always worked as an SAP consultant, so meaning that I have a lot of customers and I'm spending my, I'm separating my time between those. The reason why I've been writing books is because I believe that knowledge should be shared. I started my own company in 2010 and one of the big principles in our company is that we still write books and share information. And we do that with our customers and also with our prospects because we believe that sharing knowledge is not a threat. It is uh, an added value. Great. Thank you. So we appreciate that you're willing to share knowledge. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about um, the book in question and why you decided to write on this topic? So the book is about SAP HANA deployment. Now, the reason why I decided to do this book is that these last few years, I've been doing a lot of consulting on SAP HANA deployment, and it was always the same questions which re-emerge. So, in the end, I ended up with um, a presentation, and that present I was giving that presentation again and again and again. I repeated that presentation for the SAP user group in Belgium. I did that for many other, co other uh, companies as well. And as these questions were always reappearing, I decided, well, maybe it's time to do a book on this because there is a lot of confusion out there on SAP HANA deployment. And the reason why this is the case is that SAP is so strict on what you can and what you cannot do that uh, a lot of customers are confused. And not only the customers, but also the... Uh, hardware vendors and even the SAP consultants and that's why I decided to do this book I wanted to do a book which is not that big I set for myself a limit of 150 pages maximum because I wanted it to be readable it has to be readable for um, SAP architects but also for SAP system administrators and even for customers and what I mean with customers, I've seen with a lot of customers that business is talking about HANA. They get round up by SAP because SAP is uh, visiting those customers and telling them about HANA and all the advantages. And then the business people go to the IT people and say, hey, guys, we need to do something with HANA. And then those IT people have no clue where to start. And this is why I wrote this book, to get them started, to give them nice introduction on how you can deploy HANA, what are the options, what are the do's and don'ts. It is a technical book without being too technical. What I mean with that is that uh, there is almost no SAP HANA command line in the book. It is really about explaining how can you install HANA on-premise, what are all the, all the options, how do, you, how do you deal with high availability, disaster recovery, well, the other standard administrative problems that one, that one may encounter? 